Hi again, it's Trevor Sheridan from AppAdvice.com, and now we're going to compare Safari on the iPad 2 to the Mac. As you can tell from the video, and as you would imagine just from the thought of Mac versus iPad 2, the Mac was faster. But the difference is very, very small. It's kind of like the difference between iPad 1 and iPad 2. It's not much of a speed difference. It is noticeable, but it doesn't degrade the mobile Safari experience at all. So that means that you pretty much have the same thing in terms of speed and the new tab browsing on the iPad 2 really closes the gap between using the internet on your iPad 2 and your Mac. Obviously there's the flash difference but in terms of speed and tab browsing for everyday internet use iPad 2 is catching up and if Apple improves the Safari engine anymore it's just gonna close the gap between the two mobile internet experiences. Benchmark numbers are great, but we decided to put it live actually in real world tests because we really care how quick the pages load. Now when using a Mac, pages load practically instantaneously, so the iPad 2 does have a bit of a way to go, but the way Apple's improving Safari, I bet that Safari for Mac and iPad are going to show fewer and fewer differences with each generation of the iPad, and maybe even new iOS's since iOS 4.3 had a huge impact on iPad 2 performance along with of course the 512 megabyte RAM on board as compared to the 256 megabyte on iPad 1. The one thing we do know is that the iPad 1 doesn't really compare to a Mac but the iPad 2 does offer a great comparison. You can tell the iPad 2 is really different than the iPad 1 because with the iPad 1 you never even thought to compare it to the Mac and that's how powerful the iPad 2 is. Really, really awesome to have in your hands, too. So, you gotta take that into account. Still, though, Flash isn't on the iPad, so obviously Mac is still superior in terms of internet browsing, but there are some alternatives you can access, like Hulu Plus, which uh, does lack a few videos, but you can always try a remote desktop client and use Safari on the Mac right on your iPad. It's up to you. Either way, Safari on iPad 2 is close.